Welcome to the Slade and Wade Podcast. This is where we discuss all things in geekdom and nerd culture. I'm the anime and movie nerd. And I'm the tech and weapons specialist. Somehow we don't hate each other, so we figured why not start a podcast. So sit back and strap in for the Slade and Wade Podcast. This is the Slade and Wade Podcast coming in you every single week for the spitfire, trash talking, merc slapping content that you expect and love even though it's probably slap a little too your mama <laughs> slap your mama yeah, exactly <laughs> so slap good you want to slap your mama yeah man <laughs> yo so yo what what you been watching this this week wait what you been watching this man. week huh? well you showed me that that Donald Trump versus Joe Biden epic rap battle of history epic rap battles of history <laughs> yeah uh so political things aside this Video was fire, man. Like, yo, as a as a nerd on audio, beat was yo, whoever the producer was, yo, you gotta do some more beats, man. Yeah. Just they, they've always been good. Oh since season one. Slappers, bro. Slappers. Uh, nice. yo, the, the 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 bars, no limits on both sides. <laughs> this was amazing. Like everyone's getting slapped everywhere with some savagery. Uh oh, yeah, because you could you could hit Joe Biden. And you can hit Trump. Um, oh, man. And I mean, the, time, the timing of it with the election, like only, you know, a, a week or two before the election's actually over. Like, yeah. oh, it's it's all perfect. So oh, yeah. perfect. It was so good. It was so well done, man. I, I And the makeup, too. Like, they. Oh, yeah. The <laughs> makeup was on point, man. Oh, my God. Trump looked like Trump. Yo, the way <laughs> Biden smirks. Has me dying, man. Like, so there's some stuff in there that you definitely got to watch and uh, yeah. highly recommend and it. Also, side side recommendation, um, same guys, Nice Peter and Epic Lloyd, uh, Epic Rap Battles of History, Bill Gates versus Steve Jobs. Oh. <laughs> funniest, funniest one that I've seen today. Yes. I'll watch that when I'm sad every time. Oh, so my good. God, man. <laughs> I, I watched that like over 10 times back to back, like just like, what the hell? So good, yeah. So many references, so many things. Damn, man. Oh, yeah. Those guys are they slap, man. They really good, man. They they do good quality yeah. work in music. Um, yeah, just like the next person, like the next gang, Tiny Meat Gang, aka TMG, bro. Yeah. They so Cody Co. Noel been been at it for a while. They've been doing their own thing on the side, like comedy, um, YouTube, you know, commentary on stuff here and there. Uh, they, they, you know, I love when they both react to stuff, man. I forgot, what was it? I think it was like the Worship Girls. <laughs> Shit had me dying. <laughs> um, but their music collection, man, of songs, bro, killing it, man. They came out with a song called Sophia uh, a couple weeks yeah. back, man. That shit was balling, bro. Uh, I mean, I watch, I watch their podcast too. Yeah. I mean, it's not as good as our pat- podcast, <laughs> but. <laughs> Yo, now, if you want to do a the, collaboration, let us know. We're still a small upcoming right. company, but you know. I mean, I mean, they're fire. Everything they Not like, yet, I I was just impressed with their business sense. Yeah, like yeah. to to be able to integrate brand deals and to be able to have these like banger, actual real music, like funny songs, kind of like Dude, um, they kind of like Little Dicky. Yeah, like like I they had me think about Little Dicky and like. Um, Lonely Island, yeah. like funny rap, but funny like rap, yeah. still some good rap. Like, Dude, their transitions really? too to to sponsorships are crazy. They make they make Linus <laughs> Tech Tips look like crap, man. They be putting their own music videos having like sponsorships with Honey and other companies, and it just smoothly transitions to it. And yeah, yeah, sp- like the yeah. um the video for Broke Bitch, um they have like. They have it look like they crashed a car and they're talking about, oh man, I wish we could have, like, we need a new car. We're in big trouble, man. And the <laughs> the freaking, the freaking Seeky <laughs> guy comes out. Like, it's I like, yo, you, can you get us a car? I heard you giving out cars, man, for sponsorships. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the Seeky guy is just like, no. no. Which actually makes it even funnier because <laughs> it's like, you know. Like that's ninety percent of what Sea Geek is known for. Oh my god! Freaking, uh, just just the David parody Dover. on themselves, man. That's just <laughs> dude. It was spot on. It was pretty good. It was pretty good, man. Yeah. I, I yeah. shout out to TMG, man. Keep doing what you're doing. You guys are doing awesome yeah. work out there, man. 
Um, yeah. When 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 we get big, we'll do a cross podcast. Yeah, we'll yeah. Do a four we'll, person podcast. Yeah, we'll we'll talk some we'll talk some trash and and have some good fun. Maybe make I, a song. I still got I, I still got to work on my raps though. Yeah, I'm man. <laughs> got to bring out that the, the high school days with the pencil on the on the table and just start making some beats. Uh, yeah, start freestyling. Exactly, man. <laughs> While while TMG and the folks at Ever Rap Battle is increasing notoriously throughout YouTube, Netflix is increasing their goddamn prices again. What the hell is going on, man? What the what the hell? Bro, this is like the MTA on crack now. <laughs> I mean I I I get it. I mean, I guess it might have something to do with like inflation kind of, but I mean it's I think I could see I could see how people are gonna get really pissed off because this is coronavirus times, man. Oh, right. This this is cold. This is COVID. We're we're still in it. Yeah, we're still in it. So (laughs) it's like, why why charge people more? I I mean, I get it. Like I could see they're trying to balance out the cost if they're losing people, but I think they're doing so well right now. Maybe I'm off. Maybe I don't know all the numbers, but yeah, damn, bro. Like, so your basic plan is still ten dollars. Like, no, nine dollars. Sorry, that. $9. $9, yeah. you, so basic plan is only one screen at a time, no HD, no 4K, and that's it. Standard okay. now bumps up to $14, uh, yeah. I believe, or it was $14. Um, and it's two people at the same time and only HD. Now, for folks that have 4K TV or, you know, whatever, you need a premium, which this is where it bumps up a lot. Premium is now $18, yeah. not including tax. And whatever freeze they want to include in that shit, and and you can watch it on four screens. At four a time, screens which at a time. I think is yeah. the value. That's the value. Yeah, that's that one. if you split that. Let's be honest, people. We're we're all sharing this shit. They they made this thing cater for that. <laughs> You're splitting this four ways. It's not too bad, you know. It's but not, yo, yeah. let me get my let me get my six dollars a month because bro, I ain't trying to pay eighteen dollars. <laughs> right. Right. Honestly. Or, or, well, if it's three ways, it's six dollars a month. Uh, yeah. Like, four ways, I think it's four or five. If I had to math. <laughs> Four four fifty. Four fifty. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know. So so four ways, uh you get eighteen dollars a month, but then you also get four K and H D in that one as well. So uh major price increase in, especially compared to other why I think is that honestly, they're flexing at this point. They're already they're already a known thing. They became the Google of streaming. You get like you know how we say, yo, Google yeah. that. Yo, it's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. Oh, is it on anytime you talk about a show? A TV show, a movie, is it on Netflix? Yeah, they're the, they're the Lysol of streaming. Yeah. They're just Netflix that. Yeah, just like look the it Korax up. Yeah. wipes of streaming. Yeah, so they're the Purell of streaming. <laughs> Purell, <laughs> god damn. Because every, every every yo, I say Purell, you think had science? Yeah, man, like, that's the that's that's thing. Yeah, you say Netflix, I'm like, yo, that's the only streaming service. So, right? yo, man, <laughs> like, and it's crazy because you know we got some big players out there in the streaming world right now. We got. Yeah, Hulu that's still been around, but still charging you. Still, you paying for ads. Just saying. It's kind of crazy. Um, <laughs> you got Amazon Prime, which has Amazon Video included. You got HBO. Was it Go? Pro? Max? HBO Max, right? Yeah, uh, H- HBO Max. Yeah, yeah they got, it's also HBO Go, but there's HBO Max. They got to yeah. fix that shit. That shit is out of control. <laughs> um, they also Branding. got... Yo, Peacock. I, I didn't put this in our, in our notes, but... Peacock actually got 22 million subscribers on their plan. So that's pretty impressive. Uh, NBC, I think. Probably probably has a lot to do with the office, right? Probably, yeah. Because it's office, right? It's only on there? Uh, I think if it's not on there now, it's going there. They had a deal with Netflix, and I think they were waiting for the contract to run out. Uh, might be the same case with a bunch of other popular shows. Parks oh. and Rec 2, I think, might be going that way. So um, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, they, so it's leaving next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, mm-hmm. man, that's crazy. <sighs> yeah, Freaking, man, Peacock going crazy mm-hmm. right now, man. I mean, but. we got that. We got all these like, yeah, twenty-two million signups. So I'm not sure if that's all yeah. profits because it could be a lot of people just signing up for trials. Doesn't mean they actually got pure subscribers. So who knows? Um, and then we got, hey, we got the anime world, we got Crunchyroll, and all those people. You know. But it's like all these things, man. And Neff was like, you know, instead of understanding the times for people that want to stay home and, you know, be okay and be sane, now they got to worry about four extra dollars more, right? It's kind of, it's not, it's crazy. Is it four, four extra dollars or two extra dollars? 
what was it? It was, let me double check here. It was. Uh, wait, for Netflix? No, for, no, it was a $2 increase for the premium plan. So they increased it by $2. Uh, so. Okay. Um, I don't know, man. It's, it's, I understand it. They are pushing out a lot of movies, a lot of content that all of us talk about. You know, I understand, like, I totally understand. They got to make money somehow. And everyone is technically sharing their passwords. So, uh, so we got to. I guess they got to make yeah. money somehow. Well, I, I got to have my Netflix guy. I got to have my HBO guy. I got to have the Spotify plug. Yeah. I At the end of the day. Peacock. Yeah. Yo, we, we've been, we all left cable, right? Just to get on Netflix and all the digital stuff. Not to spend as much Bro. as cable again, because all our favorite shows are all spread off like freaking Dragon Balls. Bro. It's crazy. Cable man. makes no sense. Yeah. I'm paying for basic. Like the the first like what fifteen twenty channels, and that's only for my mom because she was watching that. I, although come to think about it, she ain't even watching it no more. I should cancel that. Cancel Nobody's that watching shit. TV in this cancel house. That shit. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> but honestly, like t- it makes no sense. It ups my bill by like forty dollars a month. Yeah. But I could get. I'm paying that for my subscription services. Like between yeah. the, all of them, like yeah. come on now. Like with Spotify and Crunchyroll included, bro. Like, bro. yeah, they what they gotta although, do. Although mom's is, paying my Netflix, is make so a service. You. Shout out to mom. Is make a service <laughs> to combine all of them together to one fee and become the next generation of streaming cable, bro. This is this is it's like deja vu again, bro. We had all Yo, these packages. I'm, Star Network, HBO. Uh, what Yo, else? They're they're selling things to make you manage your your monthly subscriptions that's how you know it's bad because yeah. they know you got 50 of those mugs like yeah. Yeah. they know they know that you got like oh did i play my netflix and then did i play my spotify did i play my country and it's role? set to auto too bro <laughs> so then people are just set it forget it they're probably paying for netflix for years and not even notice the price increase like ah oh, shit yeah. you know why i spent two yeah, dollars more i didn't it? i didn't realize that i signed up to pay my uh my true bill my service that manages my bills <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't yeah. I didn't track that. Like, oh, forty eight dollars a year? Shit. No, nah, we can cancel that. Yeah. No. Damn man. Cancel you. Man, they gotta just they gotta... But uh if you want a sponsor, reach out, please. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta cancel all that shit, man. They got not cancel it, but like, you know, organize it, delay it, whatever, and just, you know, make it all simple. But you know, it's it's crazy times, man. It's crazy times, bro. Uh yeah. sp- speaking of delays, it's like subtle jab in there. Uh Destruction <laughs> All Stars for the PlayStation Five has been delayed. I know everyone and their mama is screaming right now. What the hell is going on? The world's about to blow up anyway. Yeah, why? You might also be screaming. What the hell is Destruction All Stars? So Destruction All Stars, not sponsored <laughs> by the way, Sony. If you want to reach out, and let us know. Um, is a game. We're open. <laughs> it's a game about. Um, it's a mix. Actually, it looks like a hybrid of Twisted Metal. Um, a little touch of, you know, character, you know, unique characters like Overwatch and kind of like a, it, it looks realistic, but it's not like in a sense of like Fortnite cartoonish in a way. So it's kind right, of a mixed yeah. honeypot of all these games and you fight in this arena. We all start on cars and it's two beats, like, you know, group versus a group. And it has this kind mm-hmm. of rocket, rocket league field and they just battle out to each other, bumping into each other, destroying each other's cars. But you could also jump out of the vehicle and just start, I guess, planting traps or anything. We we don't really have a lot to go with. There was yeah. there's talks here and there with the developers, but there's not a lot on YouTube showcasing the gameplay and whatnot. We do want to see more of it, honestly, because it kind of reminds me of Twisted Metal in a way or Burnout. So like, yeah, it's it's it looks cool. What you think? So yeah, yeah. I mean, like February can't come soon enough. Right. I mean, yeah. Honestly, like. I've been waiting for something to make me feel like Twisted Metal. Dude, like, right? Well, what was the last time. Twisted Metal came out, man? Like a while ago, I, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't, I'm not even sure if I got to play that. That was at a time when I, de- I, had, I had Xbox, not PlayStation. Oh, yeah. You was Xbox. It was, it was exclusive for a little bit. Yeah. But I think later on, they, they, they broke it out. Yeah, they did break it out. I used to go to my friend's house, and we used to play that nonstop. Damn. Um, yeah, no, it's... It looks it looks pretty fun. I yeah, I'm waiting to see like if you could jump through people's windshield while you're on foot, dude. Like or, that would be know, good. Or you, you could, or you whip out a hammer and you like you know make a car explode, dude. You know, yeah. If you could do anything that's like you could just 
besides getting run over by a car, if you could just like plant bombs, do something, mess with people, that'd be dope. I, I, yeah, I, I would, and I I did see in the trailer that they were holding on to the hoods of cars. Right. And stuff. Yeah. Like if you could hijack somebody else's car, that'd be fun too. That'd be cool. But I would like that. Yeah, that was, looks interesting. Well, man, <laughs> it. One thing besides being delayed though, it is now free for all PlayStation Plus users. So that means if you have PlayStation Plus, which I think a majority Everybody of uh, users on PlayStation will have anyway, if you want to play online, uh, you get it for free, but they also are refunding people who already pre-ordered the game, which is rare. Unprecedented. Right? right? Holy I don't. Crap. I don't think that happens. Nah. I don't. Not I that don't often, think that actually. Really yeah. Like, I mean, good, good. I mean, I guess it has to do with the fact that they're making it free to play now. Yeah. But that means they're probably going to revamp their strategy and they're going to probably have some uh you know in-app purchases some in-game it, purchases honestly it could be you know the next rocket league in a way I, i'm not saying that or every, fortnite yeah i mean I, i'm not saying it's the, like every single game that gets free on playstation plus is a success you know rocket league was one fall guys you know had some success i mean people are calling it a dead game right now but honestly it did have some massive success because it was free on playstation um right I'd honestly still play it, yeah. Uh, but, but, but you know, between the, between Among Us and Genshin, you know, I just don't have the time. Yeah, I don't have the time, man. <laughs> don't have the time. But you know, other other delayed stuff. I know, man, guys. I'm sorry, guys. It's, it's delayed. It looks like it's Techtober with so much tech, but also it's delayed Tober. I guess we're calling that shit. Uh, another game <laughs> got delayed. Uh, the game it's delayed 2020. Oh my gosh, Cyberpunk. <laughs> 2020. Cyberpunk 2077. Is delayed <laughs> to December 10th of this year, supposedly. Maybe. It could be December 10th of 2077. They might as well do it. I, uh, I don't even believe it's December. Like, I'm yeah. ta- I think they're talking delayed December 2021. Because, I mean, at this point. They might as well do it, bro. They <laughs> might as well, like, say, you know, forget it. We already had it on gold, which means they already had, like, a, a final copy ready for, like, for discs and whatnot. Um, but they might as well delay it, bro. Like, at this point. It's been seven years. So much has changed. Yeah. A lot of stuff that they showed before, like two years ago, was stripped out too. Like some like cl- climbing on the walls, uh, customizing cars, dual wielding so, guns. All that was stripped so this out is, already. So this is this isn't inspired by D- Detroit uh, Be Human at all, right? No, no, because I, it, g- it gives me a little bit of those vibes. It's but, it's no. a well. It came out. This game came out after uh, before it was announced before. So they could yeah. have been inspired by each other by. I mean, they both kind of have that inspiration from old school 90s movies from cyber, you know, uh, like Blade Runners, et cetera, like that. Oh, yeah. So, but it looks, but I, it looked I, awesome. I, I feel like this is going to be deeper. Oh, yeah. But yeah. yeah. That, I mean, I guess they're, they're saying that it took, it's taking longer because they have to develop for nine consoles. I mean, you guys knew that. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I saw a tweet from somebody uh, who was saying like, oh, like, can you guys promise that you guys are going to have it released by like October, like no cap or whatever? And they were like, yeah, 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 sure. For sure. October and that what was year? before they announced the delay. <laughs> October <laughs> what? Though? That's what I'm saying, man. Exactly. October you, what? It can't be. It doesn't have to, you have to be specific. Uh, October I wish I, 10th I wish of this I kept year. that tweet. Man. Oh, it was hilarious. Dude. Because uh, they, they, they retweeted again. They were like, yeah, this was yesterday. And now they're saying it's delayed. Oh, God, man. <laughs> Um, my thing is but, that they might like, there's already talks that it's supposed to have multiplayer too, but they, they're saying that they probably won't have multiplayer until 2022. Dude. So you're saying that the single player game is going to last us for two years. And they say they might, they, there's not a possibility it'll happen before then. So they're not even certain that they'll have a multiplayer like game. So it's not like, you know, Red Dead Redemption or Grand Theft Auto where multiplayer comes out like within six months or so, even though it comes out half ass, you know, during time and years, it gets better. This one's two years in the works already on top of what they have right now. So I don't know, bro. Me thinking this, how this sounds, this sounds like a game that it's better off not even to pre-order. Uh, they're better mm-hmm. off just, you know, releasing it and folks are smart enough, let it wait, see how things go. I do want to support them though. Because they've been working on it for seven years, but it's just like, man, you just, you just, they might as well make it like a platform in a way. Like, I know people 
people that know me say that I always say make things platform like, but um, bro, I think it'll be better if they kind of had the community involved, kickstarting it up a little bit, add some funding in there, show that people are actually wanting to buy it, and scrap supporting nine consoles, bro. Honestly, like you don't need to support every single console for this. It, it doesn't seem like it. You should. Like they're not gonna run that well, I think. Yeah, no, probably not. They they should they should have limited themselves. But I mean, that's that's also, on them. Also, they nine nine always... consoles. What we're talking here? We're talking about uh, PlayStation Four, PlayStation Five, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, X. whatever. That's four already, right there. PC. That's five. What mm-hmm. else? The Switch. Six? I don't think it's coming to the Switch though. So what's the? So I don't I don't know what they're talking about. Well, the different versions also of each Xbox. So there's the high quality version. Oh, the of one, the, Xbox, the the one X, the, series, PS, the one S, PS Five high quality. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you have to you have to upscale it. And you can't Dude, just just just, just you, really, gotta, you gotta redevelop. They should just push yeah. it out and just make it next gen. I think that's it. Just release it next gen only. So it's only on PS Five. Uh, Xbox Series yeah, X. That, that's enough work. Imagine developing a game in both 1080p and then 4K also. But no, but it's not even that. Yeah. You have to think about it like this. It's like, so it's not, you know how like in our, in our PCs, right? You have a set of, you know, components inside. They have to support all of that. That's a major thing. Like, yeah. yeah, that's how like some Android phones, they don't support well. Like some phones support well with high end, you know, Pixel phones, Samsung phones, etc. But then they run like crap on cheap mid-range or low-end phones that cost like $100 or $200 and they don't run, they don't mm-hmm. run well anymore. So it's the same thing like this. Like, yo, you have a console that's been out for like almost 10 years. Uh, we still have to support it and still run decently and run 1080p, even though technically speaking, it's going to be on low settings and look like pixel shit. Come on. If it's going <laughs> to be such a bad experience, I'd rather just scrap it. And just give and just delay it. Like, yo, guys, you're 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 already known for the company that delayed the game multiple times. Delay it one more yeah. time. Delay it until next year. At the end of the next year, say we're guaranteed for sure. Next gen only. Uh, or maybe delay two years so they can get multiplayer and they're involved. And done. Ooh. You're all set. You get launched with multiplayer, I mean, you launch with next gen, you launch with PC high graphics already, you optimize the crap out of it, uh, and you're good yeah. to go. Imagine they come out with bugs, bro. It'd be all yeah because that, that could be what happened with um what was that no game Man's called Sky. uh that 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 robot game that uh I forgot the 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 name of it man Detroit Become Human oh, right. no 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 it was from EA what was that game uh Watch Dogs no, no not Watch Dogs bro not Watch Dogs um uh, it'll 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 come back. What was the game that came out for like? Um, oh, I'm forgetting about this. What the hell? So we had there was there's Bioware's game, the uh, not Bioshock. What the hell? Um, I don't know. I I completely forgot. Yeah, you lose. I I gotta I gotta start thinking about uh games more in terms of their developers. Right. You know, but... EA came out with two <laughs> games. I think it was not this year, but last year. And they're both shit. One of them was a Destiny competitor game that was right. like trash. Uh, and then the other one was um, Anthem. Motherfucking Anthem, bro. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. In my Anthem. God damn it, bro. How I forget about that. <laughs> like, yo, <laughs> Anthem came out and everyone was hyped. They're like, all right, yo, this is the third, per- third person version of, of, of Destiny. It's going to look fire. Um, but. When it came out, mad bugs, mad trash, all these issues, and it sucked. So, hmm. I think I think they okay. should I think they should wait it out. The same thing like what happens in No Man's Sky, hype to hell, everyone yeah. was hyped for it. Came out trash, garbage, yeah, yeah. trash. Now they have a new trailer that came out. Not in our notes, but I should have said that they have a new trailer that came out that uh that looks freaking fire like it says 35 player multiplayer game where everyone can you know actually meet in the world legitimately not some bougie like oh yeah you've been to that one part of the planet you might see your friend lies uh it's actually legit yeah connecting to a lobby and being together in the world and traveling 
with ships and everything, supposedly. Ooh, but that sounds amazing. That looks amazing now, and supposedly people that have been playing it all this time, uh, mind you, they they people paid sixty dollars for this game and never paid anything else. So they've been just working off the money they've been they got initially. So that's impressive. They've been working on for what? When did that game game come out? No Man's Sky. It's that game came out four years ago. No, nah, maybe more. Dude, four years ago, man. August yeah, okay, 2016. Go. Good call. Look at that. Four yeah. years I, in the making, I man. Four years in the making. Ooh. That's insane. So yeah. I, I think I think right there, that's what no that's what Cyberpunk 2077 should do. Delay it, make it only for next gen. Uh so then it eases up the developer team. Introduce multiplayer. Make it polished as, as much as you can. You know, games have bugs, but make it polished as much as you can. And done. That's it. You know, I think yeah. people will understand. Um, yeah. All right. So, um, yeah. So going into a game that uh, we weren't anticipating with bated breath. Gaijin you know. Impacto. Gaijin <laughs> Impacto. Oh, my God, man. That game. Is Get an crazy. impact for you English speakers <laughs> <laughs> compared uh, to whatever language we just spoke. <laughs> impacto. Uh, Gation <laughs> Impact Man came out uh, this year in September 28th and it has been an awesome game. Like, holy crap. We talked about it before already, but uh, this game uh, still doing well. 1.1 is coming out in November. 13th, I believe. And mm-hmm. um man. I mean, I'm even more I'm even more seasoned than I was the last time. Yeah. Like I feel like I'm I'm grinding. I'm grinding to keep up with you boys. Trying to stick keep my world at the same level. Trying to trying to uh trying to get the five star pull. Even though I'm not trying to spend any more real money. I got my blessing. That's it. Right. <laughs> But yeah, man, I think uh, <laughs> I, I I think I might end up buying the battle pass, even though I promised myself I wouldn't spend more money on this game. Five dollars was my limit, <laughs> but now I think I think I'm gonna have to go more. I don't know, man. I don't. Uh, know. I mean, I mean, I mean, if you want to, do you, do you see it getting stale? The game. Like, um. Yeah. All right. So, me personally. I think we already ran into parts of the story that that do kind of drag on a little bit. Uh, I think mm. that story's boring to me. Yeah, honestly. for you. Yeah, I we have some friends that are super interested in the story that love the story, uh, which I didn't know was based on a manga. By the way, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think it's a it's a it's a bit of a mix. Like it's the story has some good interesting things into it, but I think because it's technically like an RPG, they have the whole button clicking for every single time someone finishes talking. And if you do it, and depending on a language you don't understand, it could get really annoying and boring. And you just want to get, you want to get through it. So you could just fight and, you know, travel and explore and, and, you know, wander around the world. I think if they switched it to, you know, cutscenes, movie cutscenes. Yeah, yeah. Just stick it to cutscenes. And then if you have to say something, um, you know, click I mean, on the, click on the option or whatever. And, Give the traveler, the main character that you you select, uh, give them back their voice. Like both, the you choose either a female or male tra- uh, traveler. They both have mm-hmm. voices in the beginning of the, of, of the game, but you never hear them ever again. So it's kind of weird that they couldn't just hire that, like well, keep on that voice actor to talk throughout the whole entire game. Well, they have them doing their attacks. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you never hear them actually like, talking ever again. So, talk. um, I think as a game as a whole, it won't get stale because I think they're gonna keep on. They realize they're hitting a market that's really speed driven. Like some people, I like I personally like to enjoy my game, so that's why even that I kind of went up real quickly to the high levels. I stopped and just tried to enjoy the game because I don't want it to stop. I don't want it yeah. to end. And I seen I seen some folks that. They get to the high levels and they're just so farming hard and grinding hard that it becomes that they only come in for a few minutes just to grind out and that's it. They don't want to do anything else. They don't want to explode. They don't want to uh, enjoy time with their friends. Nothing like that. They just want to get their stuff done and leave. 
So yeah, I, I when you're grinding just to 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 get challenges. Every yeah, day, it, it just it, I mean it gets boring, man. It doesn't. Yeah. Oh. So I think it won't get still because as long as they they have the the promise of six weeks, so that's two yeah. give or takes two months. They give up, they push out like a big update or a decent size yeah. update. They keep make doing, the map bigger, right? Continue yeah, continue the story. So continue the story, add more content, add uh, you know, take on the feedback and then implement them in a way that's good for them and also for everyone as well. And you know, they have a great game. Honestly, it's a free to play. You don't have to spend money. I honestly did spend money. I already spent uh fifteen dollars, and that was five dollars for the wishes for the, every single day, whatever you call it. The and blessings. blessings. Yeah, blessings. Yeah, and then for the battle pass, and that's it. Like so far, it's so the it's, battle pass is ten bucks. Yeah, ten bucks, and it's been giving me more entertainment than a lot of open world games. I don't really stick on to open world games for that long, uh, honestly. So, fact that this game has latched me to it, and I'm being able to like, okay, I want to go back and play it. And even though this game is not available everywhere, like I still feel bad for Xbox players. I still, I'm still waiting for a Switch version so I can play on my Switch. I still play on my phone, and the fact that it's kind of cross compatible with my phone, you know, that's great. So, is it, is it cross compatible with the PS with the PlayStation? N- no, you could play with like you saw our friend. Um, shout out to Molly. Uh, she's on PlayStation, and we can't. She could play with us, but she can't make an account. She if she gets on PC, her account will carry over, and that's because of ah. PlayStation restrictions of some kind. Um. I guess there's like a, a you have to do some weird way to like convert that over because um I don't yeah, even I'd be mad. I don't I spent mad money on my account Yeah, yeah, I don't and then I can't play it. Oh. I don't I don't think even um I'm not sure if Fortnite does it because I think Fortnite does it and I don't think um but Warframe doesn't even do it even though they're kind of cross platform in a way, cross platform saves. And Call of Duty has it, but I don't think it's the same sense either. I'm not sure. They, it's a, you know how like you always sign up for these games with different consoles and whatever on different platforms? You have to sign up for the company's account. Okay. Like, yeah. yeah, so it just to connect. Oh, like EA games. Yeah, that's yeah. So that. I guess yeah. that's their way of working around it. I, I guess that's Genshin has to do something similar if he wants to help out the PlayStation folks or like oh, yeah, whatever maybe. consoles because they're supposedly going to also add this to the future PS5 and the the future Xbox Series X. So, you know, it's going to come would, soon. But I, I, I would love to play this game on a big screen TV. Like, Oh, yeah. Dude. I've been just playing it on my PC this whole time. That, like, yeah, yo, this is definitely a game that you don't imagine. need to be super accurate with the mouse and keyboard um, to play it. It's, it's really, you could casually play this and enjoy it because the game is so beautiful, honestly. Like a big 4K screen. Gorgeous. This game looks beautiful. I imagine like yeah. an OLED. Oh my god. But yeah. Uh it's it's so rich. But yeah. Um me, they're gonna have to start paying us if we keep talking about it. Exactly, man. Yo, <laughs> speaking of that, fun fact, version one point one, they will introduce referral codes. So Woo. uh guys, expect some referral codes from me. I'll be providing that. <laughs> Cause I, I referred over twenty five people already. And I got yeah, nothing. You you you're you need to get paid. I got you're, nothing you're, from this. You're, you're working like a sponsored YouTuber. Right? <laughs> um, but, you know, if for fun fact, check out the Ons game trailer for this, uh, for Genshin Impact. That is. Yeah. So- it, was, it was hilarious. They made one huge error. Yeah. That I'll just, I'll just quickly mention. Um, they said um, they, they made the, the Breath of the Wild joke, right? And yeah. they're like, oh, this is just like Breath of the Wild. Uh, and they're like, oh, yeah, it's like if you're imagine if your weapon breaks and imagine you had to spend money to repair your weapon. That's a complete fabrication. Don't know what the hell. they were Yeah, that, that was that was pretty <laughs> bold. If that was that if I heard that and I didn't know about Genshin, I'll be turned off automatically because yeah, I know yeah. I know how your weapons that was. don't break. Yeah, your weapons don't break <laughs> at all in Genshin. You actually. So, what? Yeah, <laughs> you don't spend money to uh, fix weapons like. If you were to spend money, it's more for like, hey, here's a chance for me to get maybe an, another rare character or a character that I haven't gotten yet or like a, a weapon that I haven't gotten yet. But honestly, all the stuff they give you 
off the cuff. They give you all the materials to get these wishes that you have to do, that you have to spend money on. And um, all the characters are cool. Like, you don't have to spend money if you want to beat the game or play the game. But I want to support the team. They did a really good job. So I'm, I'm spending money on the, on the Battle Pass. Uh, and I'm saving my wishes, which I'm getting for free while I play the game, um, to hopefully get characters that I want. You know, I'm, it's not a deal breaker. So honestly, yeah, when I heard that, I was like, wait, pause. Did, I was like, did he uh, like reach a new level of the game that we haven't reached that, <laughs> that your weapons break? That would be so bad, man. Yeah. yeah also, they, the, the funniest thing that they say in the trailer is that Paimon is uh, a character from uh, demonic lore. And so they're, they're talking about, uh, you know, what if they pull a Final Fantasy or, or a, uh, or Diablo, and that that ends up being the villain in the end. <laughs> Dude, so, honestly, that'd be cool. I could see that, man. I could totally see that happening. Pymon, <laughs> freaking Pymon, man. We do. We turn her into a Pokemon in the, in the group chat. Pymon, Pymon, Pymon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, talking about converting things over and whatnot. Uh the new Call of Duty Black Ops game, which is coming out soon, will convert your storage into complete trash <laughs> in a bit. Uh so it looks like the new updates, especially for if you're on PC and you want to download like the big uh 4K images yeah. and, and all that stuff in, in the game. It could go up from tw- fifty gigs to 250 gigs of storage on your device to play Call of Duty Black Ops. And it better be like the most amazing graphics, the most amazing world I've ever seen. Uh, Where like, if I kick a rock, the rock has physics. (laughs) It better be be that detail. I think think at this point, uh, Activision is rich enough from all the money they're making that they could offer at least some kind of exclusive coupon for you to buy yourself a, a, a storage or at least give you some free storage or something, right? Because these games are, these downloads, Modern Warfare and and uh, Black Ops are just out of this world. And don't get me wrong, it's not just Call of Duty that does this. Other games do this as well, but when it's that big, it's almost 250 gigs, uh, give someone a, at least a coupon or something. Give them some kind of like, they're wasting like probably their their whole like ha- the quarter of their drive maybe half their drive. Not everyone has a terabyte right. or two terabytes. Not everybody of has not storage. everybody has eight gigabytes of RAM. Although, yeah. um, at, if you don't have eight gigabytes of RAM, you probably should be playing a PC game at all. Yeah, at, <laughs> but, this, at this point, the games are getting super taxing that you need more RAM now. So, uh, yeah. it's it's crazy. I I can't can you wait for like. Can you imagine, like, in a couple of years, we'll be like, by the way, the new update for Call of Duty Warzone and Infinite Conundrum will take now one terabyte of storage for the new patch. Like, imagine that, man. <laughs> like, gaming, game downloads taking a, a terabyte. Yeah, imagine the glitches when people don't meet specifications. <laughs> Be amazing. Imagine like, oh, dude, we download this whole entire file. You're missing one file, and because of that, it corrupted the whole entire game for you. Uh, yeah, like in Gary's mod, when there's a mis- mixing mix, texture, mixing texture there's errors everywhere. Dude, yeah, <laughs> and it's also te- it's for the 4K <laughs> texture. So imagine like one texture that didn't download through correctly, or something like that, or it couldn't fit the drive properly. So then, bong, you got yourself blue purple images flying around everywhere randomly. It's crazy. Um. Yeah. Yeah, man. I don't know. They 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 just gotta get some discounts or something. But speaking of uh uh, uh I'm gonna keep saying this. My, this is my transition right here. Uh, <laughs> flying of blue games. <laughs> of games <laughs> and possibly <laughs> flying blue and purple things everywhere. Uh, non uh templates and and and, and image files related. Final Fantasy 16 has announced their protagonist named. Cleave? 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 Clive? 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 Cleave? Cleave, right? Cleave? Clive? Cleave. A classic dad name, apparently. Uh, Cleave, 
is the protagonist of the game, and he is a He's interesting character, to say the an least. An emo kid. Uh, definitely emo. Looks like they're going back to their original Final Fantasy versus 13 roots. And uh, having emo kid has this uh, fire arm or special demonic arm. Uh, Honestly, first glance, this this image looked like uh, <laughs> this image looked like Devil May Cry to me. It does look like Devil May Cry. <laughs> Low key, it does. Um, <laughs> It's, I was like, oh, Final Fantasy. Oh, there's that bird from the trailer in the image, too. Yeah, the bird's in the trailer. <laughs> so the bird, his brother is, uh, I guess, Joshua Roseville, something like that. Uh, or something like, uh, He's a dominant. So apparently a dominant is able to communicate with these beings related to their area. So this one is the bird. So apparently there's people that could control spiritual beings this is like the nine tails from naruto kind of in a way. uh yeah <laughs> um that's good a lot of people thought they got some dragon age vibes from this game uh they'll make cry yeah it's it's kind of all over the place this is it it got i got some middle gear solid vibes just because how random it is all over i know it's kind of back to the medieval fantasy old school vibes they're going for which is great i just i, I gotta mm -hmm. see more gameplay because honestly it looks good it looks interesting um but man i, I don't know I, hopefully it it looks like this might, game might either release soon or it might be it might be another cyberpunk 2077 man you know another final fantasy 15 <laughs> might take like 10 you, years you're bro. so scared of this final fantasy <laughs> Releasing on time. Fifteen. It <laughs> might take ten years, bro. We might wait. We might get it in the next PS6, if anything. Um, but you know, we'll see what happens. It looks the characters look interesting, at least you know, and that's a plus. At least the characters look cool. Uh, hopefully they are interesting and engaging. What? You know, it, it's yeah. it's it might take a while to make. It might take a while to make. Um. Yeah. Um. This this next thing, uh, we could just quickly glance over it. Uh, it's just a it's just a gallery of PlayStation Five images. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm interested in how the hardware is going to be, but since I figured since this was kind of one of the first things that we ever talked about, should give a little update. They're releasing more and more PlayStation Five related content. Yeah, we we haven't. As the days go on. We're not blessed like many YouTubes to <laughs> get an exclusive first copy Yo, of this game mk mkbhd got his hands on the actual console shout out to mkbhd marcus <laughs> shout out bro um for neighbors uh <laughs> yeah they went in on this like they have a lot of hardware that came through it looks honestly the more i look at it i'm definitely glad i got the digital edition it looks more Yo, cleaner the close-ups man they're selling it. Yeah, they're dude. They they have. I don't the, give a damn about their headphones. The, but they're selling the Sony. <laughs> the Sony. The interior has little micro dots of the face buttons, the X triangles, squares, and circles. It's so small, yeah. but yet, dude, the ambient and lighting on the inside is cool too. I don't God. think I noticed that last time. Yeah, they they <laughs> really have, and they actually have lighting. Because everyone thought yeah. that the Xbox Series X, that the top part, that's what I thought too. I like the top part was a green oh, glow, yeah. but it's just like now an it's... offset paint that makes it like, yeah. if you look at it from a side, it looks like it's green glowing, but it's not. It's like, yeah, oh. that's, that's, kind of, that's kind of frustrating, but also cool how it could look like that and yeah. not be that at yeah. the same time. I mean, it saves energy, but still, like, I would love to know, hey, my Xbox is on when I see the green glow from the top besides like the, the white logo. Like this, I could yeah. tell like with the freaking blue aura going through the entire body it's pretty sick <laughs> or halfway through it like it's i like it i mean it looks futuristic it kind of low-key reminds me we might have to post this in the in the, in the video uh it kind of reminds me of the building over here in, in in new york uh the oh the freedom tower no not the freedom tower the um the building the train station the new one it had that weird uh arc it looks like a white futuristic interior Near Wall oh, Street. I think I know what you're talking about. Right? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. One, that's, that one. That's near the Freedom Tower. Yeah, 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 that one. That has the same arching design 
a little bit. I don't know. We got to post that in the video. You might guys might, might see it. It might be a, it might be a trend. Yeah, right. Yeah. It might. It does look like a futuristic building of some kind, or a Barclay Center on the side. Um, the con- yeah. yeah, yeah, Barclays is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Imagine you put all that money into into a building, and then you have to shut down for like a year, <sighs> tight <laughs> or more, dude. Oh, oh, I thought the <laughs> controller had it too. No, the controller looks kind of cool, man. I do want to yeah. see. I heard a lot of good things about it. Uh, shout out to Dave Two Two D. Uh, he talked about the vibration of the controller when clicking on the triggers that it kind of mm. simulates the actual feeling you get from interacting with the world. So if you're stepping on glass, the controller will simulate vibrations that make it feel like you're walking on grass or glass yeah. or water and all that. It's like kind of an interesting vibration mechanic inside. Um, and if you're not, if you're not into VR, there's... There's another step in the immersion. Yeah, right. So <laughs> pretty soon I mean, people are just going to have painted rooms at our screens and freaking sensors in the floor that <laughs> make things happen. He's pretty much doing the Oasis, bro, and, and Ready Player One. When you get to that point. Oh, least, yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah, but I'm, I'm totally I'm totally down for that, man. I'm totally down for this. I can't wait for uh for this console. The control looks freaking great. I. Hopefully it's a little bit bigger. I've seen photos of that comparison to original one. It looks like it has more girth, so at least you know folks that are coming from Xbox can enjoy that, or just enjoy both consoles. They can enjoy like the you know the size of it. Um, yeah, I mean, if you got money, you got money. You want to drop over a grand on or two consoles? <laughs> consoles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know that. yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you might drop more than the grand if you're buying the high level version of the console. Slap a couple games and a couple pieces of hardware in there, and you're well over a thousand dollars. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, it's, it's great. It's great that they're... we'll, we'll see. We'll Amazing see. that a phone costs almost. Well, a phone in most cases right now costs more than a console. <laughs> yeah, but think about uh, that. The think about how oh, consoles are constantly almost the same price in range, most of the time in yeah. the years, but yet for phones, every single year they come out with a new one. And it's only marginally yeah, they, better. They drop and then they'd be costing more money. It's weird. Yeah. Um, I think this is the I remember e- I remember when 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 like if you spend a hundred dollars on the phone, that was a lot of money. Yeah. I remember Dude, yeah. those days. Dude. Uh <laughs> shout out to my my to our homeboy O when he got his first phone. It was the uh, HTC G two. My man still had the plastic on his phone, man. And he dropped it <laughs> and it slid right into a a little puddle of water when we were running towards the, oh. tr- the bus and he picked it up and it was not working. I was like, bro, it still has this plastic on it, man. <laughs> you break this, fo- <laughs> you break this phone with the plastic still on it. My God, man, that, yeah. And those are the days, man, those phones were more affordable now than ever. Like now it's, it's, I mean, I see the trend. Now the companies are targeting cheaper phones. You know, you got the new pixel phone. That's like 700 bucks. You get the, iPhones going for seven hundred, Andrew bucks, mm-hmm. but you still got expensive like thirteen hundred dollar phones. Samsung's two thousand dollar folding phone that will probably break when you throw some sand at it. Uh, <laughs> maybe I don't know. They might have fixed that, but still, uh, I don't know, man. Things, things are things. Yeah. I hope things get better, uh, and and change for the better as we move on. Just like uh, gaming movies. Gaming going to movies and TV shows like Netflix making a live action Assassin's Creed series, both live action and animated. Um, yeah, man. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know how they I don't know how they haven't done this already, though. Like 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 the last Assassin's Creed movie was. Um, horrible. Yeah, I, I was going to say. <laughs> uh, dumpster dumpster fire trash, but. And that had the, my man Jake Gyllenhaal, didn't it? <laughs> he couldn't carry it, bro. He, he no matter, was, no he matter. Was also in Prince of Persia too, wasn't he? <laughs> am I, yeah. Am I just applying him to all video game movies? Yeah, I bet if they hired him again, man, that'd be funny. Uh, <laughs> um, I really hope they do justice on this. Like, it's been like I'm, I'm a fan of the game. I'm, I'm okay with the with the story of the games too i mean i, I kind of lost track on the plot so i'm not know if it's so good or not of uh, the current games but the movies was anytime they try to adapt 
the game itself was trash. Anytime they try to adapt any kind of game like this, it's always been trash. So I really hope that Netflix sprinkled their Witcher magic that they did to the Witcher game series and apply it to this. Like, yeah. and and just like how we all thought Witcher was gonna was gonna suck, but it turned out to be great, and how Spider Man into the Spidey Verse was gonna be like another Sony flop and turned out to be one of the best Spider Man movies ever. I hope they, you know, this kind of leads into like, hey, you can still do gaming and good comic adaptations in the in the rightful way. Um, cause damn, bro, uh, it, it would suck yeah. if you if we if we saw it and it was just like a full season of like trash, like, bro. Maybe that's why you guys had to increase the price for Netflix, man, because <laughs> it was that bad. Oh my. <laughs> they had to cut the cost. They had to uh, recoup some money for this trash show. I hope not, man. I hope not. I hope it's a good show. Um, yeah. By, by the way, I was totally wrong. Michael Fassbender was Assassin's Creed, and it still failed. <laughs> oh, damn. And it came out in 2016. Oh, yeah, you're right. So. It was him. Damn. He's a great fucking actor, <laughs> people, too. Damn. People don't forget. People don't forget about Assassin's Creed. That was four years ago. Damn, bro. Also, that's that's the trend for today. Things that were four years four ago. Years ago. <laughs> Come, coming <Come> back. back. <laughs> um, damn, that's crazy. Uh, in other Netflix mo- uh, news, uh, it's been Netflix craziness happening in this episode. Yeah, uh, this is all about Netflix. <laughs> not I'm waiting for my check, Netflix. Yeah. Uh, Netflix is coming out with another banger show, or hopefully with another banger show. Uh, called Alice in the Borderland. Not Alice in the Wonderland, Alice in the Borderland. Uh, it's about strangers trapped in a life or death game where they just kind of like the whole world becomes a game and they meet these An interesting characters. Room, kind of, yeah. yeah Step-by-step it, escape room. Yeah, it's... Yeah. it's uh, all I can say it's interesting. It's coming out in December 10th of this year. Um, has... Right. Tigers, fire, guns, sword fighting, all the places, all the time. Um, it's super vague in a way, but it's in the post-apocalyptic uh, Tokyo location. So you're going to see some pretty interesting things in that game or in that show. Uh, luckily, it's a series, so we're guessing kind of like 8 to 12 episodes maybe. But, I mean, by the episode and by how the trailer looks like, uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to watch it. I don't mind one. Like it looks pretty awesome to me. Yeah, I mean it looks pretty good to me. I was mo- I was most interested in the manga of it. Oh right, um, yeah, it's yeah, because it is it is based on a manga, but I I have not read any of it. It looks really cool, and the characters actually look kind of similar to to their manga counterparts. So I'm interested, and of course, Japanese cast. Of course, um, of course, not a not. Not too much American influence in there, but still looks very cool. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, and another <laughs> interesting uh, foreign-ish film, <laughs> foreign-ish. Borat Two, or Borat subsequent movie film, or several other titles that it calls itself throughout the movie, uh, sparked some controversy this past week. Yep. Um, they were. Um, they were actually filming scenes without telling people what they were filming for. They kind of did that for the last one, you know, when they went to a bar, or I think, I think it was a bar. Uh, they started singing the, the throw the dude down the well song. <laughs> um, that was that was really bad. The first movie, something similar happens in this movie. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of gross out humor there's a lot of crazy stuff going on so yeah th- this <laughs> it, it's a great movie it's a lot of fun but <laughs> like I, i'll give it a solid solid eight out of ten if it's not for you it's not for you if you know if you hated when people were making you be my wife jokes then then you know you're not going to be into this but <laughs> yeah i have kids to watch it yet it uh, time. i'm a definitely watch it and 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 see how it is but it's uh yeah shout out to rudy giuliani oh boy did they get you 
<laughs> yeah, I heard I heard some interesting things from the news on that. Did, is it really bad? <laughs> oh yeah, he was in a compromising position to say the least. And I'm surprised that's not being blown up everywhere. Otherwise, <laughs> new wise, uh, maybe because people haven't. I, I feel like if this was on, um, Netflix, they would have been talking about it more. And that's how, yeah. that's another thing. How Netflix is super dominating in this goddamn market. Goddamn. Um, but yeah. speaking of of dominating the market, Netflix, Jesus Christ, Netflix, stop! Is <laughs> back up <laughs> again, uh, creating a uh, an anime for Pacific Rim: The Black. Uh, this might be the Gundam. The 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 American Gundam that we need right now because we don't really have any. <laughs> I mean, it looks it looks pretty cool just from those images that I see. Um, it it is basically Gundam. It's about them pr- protecting Australia with their giant robots, Yankers, uh, a brother and sister duo. Uh, it looks cool. That's it. That's it. I mean, this is. There's not too much to say about it. Um, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it, though. I'll, I'll watch it, and it depends. I mean, it could be like as fun as a uh, Voltron uh, was a couple years ago. Um, oh yeah, Voltron was really good, actually. If it, if it, you know, yeah, if it's anything like Gundam, Evangelion, you know, they have they have the blueprint there. This could be good, and you know, and and Netflix we trust. Because <laughs> apparently they're they're our overlords and they're taking care of us this week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, your invoice is in the mail. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm hoping for the best. Uh, the Black is an interesting title for it. Yeah. Uh, as far as I as far as I can remember, there's nothing. Uh, the Black about the <laughs> Pacific Rim. Except maybe the dimension that those monsters come from, but maybe it's a sense of how like. When you're deep in the water, it's all black. Yeah. I mean, that's where they come from. Yeah. Uh, and I don't even remember in the second movie if they close that rift again or not. I mean, they look like they, but, they close a rift as much times as, you know, in Star Wars, they uh, defeat the another Darth, you know. Another, another emperor. Emperor and another Star Destroyer and all that. Yeah. And they destroy the same hole and stuff like that, so. We're gonna we're gonna need a bigger boat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, and to, and to close things out, uh, I'm just gonna talk about random anime of the week. Have did you ever watch? Is it wrong to pick up girls in the dungeon? No, I haven't actually. <laughs> Which, is it is it is it wrong to pick up girls in the dungeon? PC, is it is it? It's the most non PC title ever. <laughs> it's it's funny because the way the show is, mm. it flips that on its head awesome. because. Um, the main character in the first episode, like, basically is getting destroyed in a dungeon, and a girl saves him. <laughs> um, and throughout the show, he's basically building a harem <laughs> of of strong female characters, but he also becomes strong, and um, it's it's um similar in solo leveling to to have like you know a leveling up system they they gain items they gain armor they gain weapons um it's a very rpg uh game. isekai although uh, it's not actually an isekai is it an isekai no no because they he was in that world from the start and it actually um weaves in a little bit of greek mythology mm. um not giving anything away but um there are gods that have fallen to earth okay. and they have families or familias that uh, basically go into dungeons and accrue wealth through looting the dungeons and fighting strong monsters. Hmm. So that's, that's how the world is built and that's how it was from the beginning to the end. Um, I didn't read the source material for this either, but. It's actually a, a pretty interesting show. Not one of the best animes that there is out there, but uh, it's pretty solid. I, I, you know, uh, is it worth 
it's or from it's at least a, it's a, it's a seven out of ten. I mean, it's worth it's worth like checking out like maybe the first episode and seeing if you're into the I thought, world. I thought you were gonna say a sick one. <laughs> I was I no no no, no. you caught yourself slipping I can't, like, ah. I can't I can't I I can't give it a, in good faith I can't give it an eight but it's a seven it's a seven you know strong strong seven it's not bad um, it's just it's good you know you just watch it when you need to watch some yeah kill some time yeah yeah I mean Doctor Stone uh, in comparison is like you know an eight or a nine easy yeah <laughs> uh, in terms of story animation and all that stuff yeah um. This show's animation is decent, but nothing, nothing eye catching, nothing amazing, nothing revolutionary. So it's just a solid show for if maybe you're kind of a pervert into, into <laughs> kind of a pervert. very, very, very <laughs> big chested women. Jesus <laughs> Christ, bro. <laughs> this is the most subtle shit you can say. Yeah, yeah, if you're kind of a freaking pervert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's. I mean, the the Don Machi fans will come after me, but like, dude, they they have a girl for every type, <laughs> just like Genshin. Oh my god! <laughs> and they have a lot of, you know, t- big breasted types. <laughs> so it's the so, Genshin of, of of anime for now. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, so that's all I got for now. Um. Yeah, I might I might try and and uh and and have maybe a review of the Genshin manga next time. Ooh, yeah. But we'll Please see. do. Please <laughs> do. That might be an interesting one. Um Yeah. I could actually understand the story. That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we, we have some friends that are like really hooked on the game and we don't even understand what's going on in the story at all. Yep. Yeah. But for now, uh this has been the Slade and Wade podcast. Uh, podcast uh, brought to you by the good folks, Slade and Wade. Uh, <laughs> tune in next time <laughs> for more craziness from the Mercs. Peace.